I'm trying to get that by the way. Come on, Lily. Go. She's trying to get a bug away. Then look here. All right. Hello, everybody. I got to okay. get the Instagram stream going and then get the little ones inside. <laughs> Who are you? Lily, inside, please. Lily, come on. This is my daughter. Lily Ray. Lily. Come on. Listen to mommy, please. What up? Hello, everybody, on both the streams. I figured out I should use my fisheye lens on the laptop <laughs> for the for YouTube's live stream. Uh, rather than the phone. Okay, well, it's time to go inside. Um, so we're going to talk about the workout today. If you didn't already see it on CrossFit.com, uh, today's or games.crossfit.com for the support your local box fundraiser workout. Um, the workout is four time, 100 double unders, 21 burpees, 75 double unders, 15 burpees, 50 double unders, nine burpees. So fast sprint uh, today, there is a scaled option as well. I'm gonna take this camera because I can move it all the way over here. Boom. 100 double unders, 21 burpees, 75 double unders, 15 burpees, 50 double unders, nine burpees. Scaled division. So if you're not used to CrossFit or this stuff is still too difficult for you skill wise, Rather than double unders with your jump rope, you're gonna do some jumping jacks. Um, and then your reps are gonna change. So 50 jumping jacks, 15 burpees, 35 jumping jacks, 12 burpees, 20 jumping jacks, nine burpees. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're looking for today. That's the workout. Okay, uh, let's put this around. So I'm going to get warm real quick. It should be fairly easy because it's just a jumping workout. All right, put this back over here. Okay. Let's move my daughter's boots inside. Cool. Uh, I'm actually going to start with the jump rope. So we're just going to get some freestyle jump roping in. Um, you can literally, if you're at home following along and you don't have equipment and your neighbors don't mind you jumping or you're outside or something, you can literally just practice everything like you had a jump rope because we're just going to go through a bunch of movements. I'm going to change how I move my legs around and that's it. This is to get me confident jumping in the space because it's a little tight for me with the ceiling, my bullhorn handlebars here, and just like knowing how cramped I am because I want to stay on the mat because I also want to do my burpees here. Something to keep in mind. And then obviously I don't want to hit my MacBook. So uh, let's start with the rope behind my knees. If you were watching yesterday's workout, I also did double under, so my legs are a little tired already. But I always knee check. And that just makes sure that I'm not standing on my rope. So knee check. I'm going to swing my arms down. I'm just starting with a single under. Learning to get my breath in as I move around and jump. I'll start turning it into a run. And the butt kickers. And the high knees. Back to single unders. Call this one the skier. Moving left and right. The bell. Forward and back. Straddle. Straddle cross. Rocker. So I'm going to right left foot stays in front, right foot stays in back. Sides. Oh, no worries. Just get it going again. 
and then the jig, which is just alternating those sides. Back to the single under. And then finally building up to the skill we're gonna utilize later, the double under. tired. My legs are feeling yesterday's double under workout, so this might not be as enjoyable for me today. I'm going to shake it out, get my ankles loose. We'll do some dynamic range of motion for the downstairs and upstairs so that we're nice and loose, nice and ready to go. Classic. For many of those who are actually part of the FCF in the past, when we were in 3.0, we warmed up dynamic range of motion like every day. And I feel like mobility was a lot better for most people. You had range, but also control. Switch direction. Kind of fell out of that. You know, cycle through everything. Switch arms. Bad omen. I'm already out of breath. My calves are lit up. If you're using a jump rope today, there's a lot of wrist and elbow. I just realized the Instagram is kind of tilted here. Uh, but I want to warm up the elbows too. Make sure those joints, ligaments, tendons, and obviously the muscles and the nerves that innervate all that stuff. All good. Or I guess in the case of muscle covering all that stuff getting some wrist crap going on here hands on the inside elbows on the inside wrist circles i always just sway left and right here too involve the legs a little bit and switch directions i'm just gonna shake it out literally just hands and fingers and wrists just as loose as possible Going all over the place. I'm sending it around. Okay. All right, twist and pivot. Ooh, ooh. Sounds like a water bottle in my back. Chris Farley, actually, a couple of good mornings before the Chris Farley. So I'm just hinging over with a large chest, flat back, feeling those hammies. If anybody took my Zoom class earlier today, we're gonna play with something else too. So I'm gonna offset my feet. They're in a straight line right now. I'm gonna just move it so that the middle of my foot is on the line with my toe on the opposite foot. And this just gives you a little bit more of a bias from one side to the other. Don't separate too much. It should just be like this, not like that. I'm going to step back with that front foot. So now I've changed which foot is in front. Same thing. And I'm feeling it a lot in that right leg because that's the foot that's forward. The range demand is a lot greater right now. All right, I'm going to go wide. Actually, yeah, let's do it. We're going to do a, no, we won't do it. Never mind. Trying to get fancy and then deciding against it. Shout out to those who know what the 27 squats warm up is. We're going to, we're going to skip it for now. I'm going to do some more air squats, but this time I'm going to shift my weight. Right, so a lot of my weight is on top of this leg, but I'm still squatting on this side too, the unweighted side. I stand up, biasing that side, and now I'm gonna shift and switch. Nice way to prime the legs, but also just like 
life is weird, right? You do all these weird movements and all that stuff. Uh, be prepared for that, right? All right. Um, knees. I'm just going to do some stretches here. Classic quad pull. Grab on to something for balance. Or you can challenge yourself not to. But the goal is the same. Can I pull my knee behind me as much as possible? Do it for Instagram here once. Look, you can see my knee behind me. But I didn't lean forward. YouTube over here. Lean back as much as I can. You can do the same arm or the opposite. I just try to alternate like days in which I do one versus the other. This one. Cool. Figure four, I'm going to pull my ankle towards my belly button. I'm trying to dorsiflex the ankle as well, if you know what that means. I'm pulling my toe towards my kneecap. If you can see, I've opted for my Nike Epic Reacts, my running shoes today. There's a lot of jumping and burpees. I don't need the stability for weightlifting because there are no weightlifting elements in today's workout. Unless the burpee is weightlifting for you. It is for me right now. I'll tell you that, my conditioning is not that great, surprisingly. Okay, so now that we do the outside of the leg, now we're going to do the inside. We're going to do some Cossack squats. So I'm super wide in my stance. Both heels stay down. I'm going to shift all the way over, keeping one leg straight. I hit the bottom position. I stand up. I switch sides. Let the heels stay down and the heels stay heavy. You can see my toe can come up here on this side, on the weighted side, the squatting side. Oh, hips. What did we do yesterday? Oh, I did hang squat things. That's right. Feeling it. Join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Zoom for a, a live yoga class with Yvonne. You can check it out on our social media as well as Zen Planner for the info for that class. All right, we're just going to take it down to the ground real quick. Not a lot of burpees today, so I have a particular warm-up or some movements that I like to warm up so that we're ready to go and we're all prepared and all that stuff. You're going to start... Prone on the ground, that means belly and chest. And your thighs on the ground, I'm going to move this here. So coming down to the ground, hips down push-ups. I keep my hips down the entire time. It's like I'm pushing up to an up-facing dog. And I come back down. That's one. But show control and try to put all the weight in your hands. It's like the worst looking push-up ever if you don't have context. But this is one of the motions in the burpee. I'm just trying to make sure this feels okay on my spine, in my back, my hamstrings. My glutes are super active. When I hit this top position, I'm squeezing my butt down, squeezing those cheeks, pinching the penny. And I come back down, come back up. Cool. And then from here, I'm going to practice just move back, sprawling up. So we call this one the bottoms, the bottom only burpee. It's the portion that only happens on the ground. So I'm on the ground. I'm going to do that kind of up facing dog, hips down push up. Then I'm going to shoot my hips up into the air as fast as I can. When my hips come up, my feet are going to straddle out fairly close to my hands. And then for those who know what the burpee is, you would then stand up, jump and clap. We're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to get my feet up. So I'm in that pitched over position, hands still on the ground, and then come back down. So there's the, there's the key. Keep your hands glued to the ground the entire time. Looks like this. Then I'm just gonna hang out here. Hands on the elbows. Sway side to side. Oh. Oh.
Woo. Yeah. And then some Jefferson curls. So if you're not used to a Jefferson curl, again, this is like a movement you might do in classes. Without context, it looks like a, a terrible deadlift. Imagine you went fishing. You caught a big one and you start pulling up. That pole starts rounding out a lot. I want to think that's my back. All right? I'm going to use a little bit of weight here. You don't need to, but you'll definitely feel it a lot more. And we want to stay light. We don't go heavy with this unless you're super experienced with it. And that means like you're doing it at least once, twice a week. Right? I have a lot of my guided training athletes doing it as cool downs and warm ups, but uh, we're trying to strengthen each part of the spine there. So, yeah, we want to keep our back flat the majority of the time that we're weightlifting until we don't, because life doesn't care. Oh, shoelace. And that's what I mean by worst deadlift. You can see me here. This is just a 20 pound dumbbell. Uh, I'm flexible enough that I should actually be like, my feet should be elevated like onto a box so that when I reach down, my hands don't get stuck on the ground and they can keep going and I can compress down more, right? But this is good for anybody with neck, back issues. We would start very, very slowly and obviously without body weight or without weight, using only your body but we would also test your control. You only go down as much as you can. Each part of that spine. Because if you don't know how to control that, what's gonna happen when you're doing like a one rep max deadlift and you don't know how to engage a specific part of your back where you might get like super weak or super rounded, right? So that's why we like that particular movement. You can check it out on YouTube dot com slash foundation crossfit we have a movement library in there if you need new workout ideas um, and things like that so check that out we also have a bunch of follow along workouts retie my shoes here why safety first all right so i've kind of went through all the range of motion necessary for the burpee today we'll try a couple i'm going to lay all the way down and come all the way up we're going to use like this uh Freestyle connection method. So if you don't know what I'm talking about there, check out Carl Pauli and freestyle method. Uh, this is one way that he kind of teaches it. It's smooth and it's rolly and that way, uh, it's not so high powered and I can maintain a pace here. Uh, at FCF, when I program normally, you take all the exercises that are possible in a CrossFit gym and you can categorize them a bunch of different ways. Is it weightlifting? Is it gymnastics, AKA uh, body weight control? Or is it cardio? Cardio would be running. Uh, gymnastics would be a push up or a pull up. Excuse the plane. And then weightlifting would be weightlifting. Pick up a pair of dumbbells or a medicine ball or a barbell or what have you, right? When we're thinking of burpees, it can either be body weight, that's what most people would assume, but we actually consider it cardio, right? And that's why we, we do it so often. That said, depending on how you do it, it could be one of either. If I kick back and my goal is to keep my body tight, I hit the ground hard and pop back up, what we would call a sprint burpee. Um, that makes it more of a body weight movement because I need good pressing strength and good hip strength, speed, so on and so forth. It looks like this. Whew, and now I'm tired. Uh, that's what we mean by body weight burpee. So, or a sprint burpee, rather. Um, so that's what we're looking for today. I'm going to chill out for a second, get my clock ready, and then we're ready to go, right? So if you need to hit the bathroom real quick, go do that now. Otherwise, I just need a timer. Move this over here.
put this here, move this over here, move that over there. Timer, stopwatch. Okay, well, the workout again, for those who missed it earlier, 100 double unders, 21 burpees, 75 double unders, 15 burpees, 50 double unders, nine burpees, jumping jack. If you're scaling today, slap everything together. Heel slap, hand slap, everything's in, right? Then I'm gonna clap overhead when I straddle up. Slap and clap. So if you're doing the scale division, that's what you're hitting up there. Burpees, do the same. Hey, this counts as a burpee. Yeah. What we're looking for is that you just get on the ground somehow before you somehow get up, jump and clap with your arms out, extended overhead, right? That's all we're looking for as far as a burpee is concerned today. So if that's you, that's you, right? I'm pretty sure we covered everything there at least for the prescribed RX and scale division. Otherwise, we're gonna start the workout. 121, 75, 15, 59. So that's 175, 50 double unders, 21, 15, nine burpees. All right, let's give myself a 10 second countdown here. What happens if I click that? Yeah, let's not click that. Okay, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Six left. Sure, all the bodyweight ninjas love this workout. I was one when I was in my 20s.
time. Man, it's gonna be crazy to see some of those uh, times posted up. If you're working, keep going. I'm sure somebody's gonna do this super fast, like sub two, 90 seconds, something like that. The pro tip there would be hold on to the handles the entire time. Let's see if I can do one of those. Let's say you finish your last double under. Oh, see, I'm already tangled. That's not fun. I'm sure somebody's gonna do something like that. Shout out, RPM Fitness, fun rope. All right. Dave, what'd you get? That should hurt. That's how I did, 519. I'm happy with it. Why? Because I can't get to my beloved barbell. That's why. So thanks for joining us today. Glad that was a fast one. Try it out. Tag us. Input your scores. Games.crossfit.com. Ooh, nice. It's all about the uh, double under, Dave. If you get those mess ups, right? That's all it is. The burpee, you can keep going. It's the double under. High skill coordination, especially when you're tired and floppy. Um, yeah, that was fun. Don't plan to rejoin the, or redo that one. Anyways, wash your hands. Stop touching your face like I am. I'm going to shower after this. Otherwise, stay fit, stay home, stay healthy. Join us tomorrow. Instagram. Hey, YouTube. Love you guys. Um, Good job. Cool down. I'm going to do some stretching, actually, for the end of all this. So I didn't wear socks. Because <sighs> who's wearing socks nowadays? I'm barely wearing any clothes. I just put it on for y'all. Cool down flow. Let's do it. Let's see how this looks. Yeah. Let's start off with a super pigeon. Let's put this clock back on. So I'm going to just start off in a pigeon stretch. You'll see why we call it the super pigeon in a second. So I grab my foot, pressing it down. I'm thinking belly button towards the inside or the middle of the shin. And then you can block your foot if you need to. Be active about pulling your toes towards your knees. You just cave down. If you want to make this harder, think of the distance between your crotch and your heel. You got to kick it out if you want to make it harder. My daughter is yelling for me. Yes? Okay. I know, Daddy's stretching. Okay. Well, I'll be upstairs in a second. Okay. She's three and a half and very curious about life. 15 seconds left. She's over three and a half. I don't even know now. All right. Did I share it? Did I save it? Oh, it did save it. Sweet. Okay. All right. Now we're going to shift instead of belly button towards the middle of the shin, belly button towards the knee. So you watch my rear foot. I just move it over more. And now I'm hitting a different corner of this pigeon stretch. So you might feel it in the glute a lot more. This is like a uh, high knee kind of position, but whoo. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna hold this for another 30 seconds or so. Whoa. Hey, uh, leave a comment. Did the, like this view versus the fisheye view, what is better? I know you get more info, you get more of the, what's going on with the fisheye, but it is distorted and because it's like a $7 thing off of Amazon, it's not as clean. Three, two, one. That said, these MacBooks, MacBook Pros, the camera's only a 720p webcam, so 
you're not going to get the best uh, thing anyways. So now my goal is belly button towards in the direction of the ankle. So this is a lot different and it's a lot pinchier in the hip area, but try it out. We're going to hold this for a minute before we switch sides. And before we switch sides, we're going to stand up and try to shake things out. 30 more seconds to breathe, move around. Fifteen seconds to go, holding a minute per position. And again, if you're here on YouTube, check out our video of the Super Pigeon and the copy that's written underneath in the description. Three, two, one, relax. If your calves are particularly tight, I know I don't have the fish eye again. Just stand there in a narrow stance and squat down and use the weight of your torso to drive the knee forward. And you can see what kind of angle that gives us there. If you have really tight ankles, you probably can't get into this position. You have to be out here and your hips have to be high because your shin has to be high because that can't stretch. But check me out. If I sit down and I load the knee forward, look at my angle at that ankle, right? FCF athletes already know because I make them do squatting quad, which is the barbell placed on your thighs, like where my hands are. I just drive my knee forward. Anyways, you might want to do that today, and I'll show you a calf stretch. But until then, let's switch sides. We're going to do a minute per position on this side too. So standard pigeon stretch. Belly button towards the middle of the shin. Uh, I'm trying to straighten out that rear leg that you can't really see right now. I don't know if you can hear me because i got planes flying over my head. I saved the video. On both the streams, I figured out I should use my fisheye lens on the laptop. <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, belly button to knee. Lay down, lay down, lay down. And try to close up. Some people might be like rotated like this because of the hips. Your goal is to drop that fur further side shoulder down. So my left armpit, because I'm on my right knee, I'm trying to get my left armpit to the ground. Just stretches some nasty stuff in there, especially if you're super tight. And that's only 30 seconds. That's felt like forever to me for some reason. <clears throat> yeah, that was a good one. I want to blame me uh, doing some gardening before I was do pulling some weeds and uh, stuff like that. I want to blame my allergies and doing all that stuff, kicking some dust up for breathing so hard and not doing so well. Three, two, one, shift it over, belly button towards your ankle. So sometimes I can block it. You can see that I have one hand. I give my foot a high five, and then I put my other hand on top. And I'm using the strength of my arms to pull myself over and in and down so I can get my belly button towards my knee. Or I'm sorry, belly button towards my ankle, right? The knee was the other one. And that's only 20 seconds. What the hell? All right, breathe. In other news, it's the weekend. Did you know that? It's Friday. Somehow Friday. We got through another week, y'all. Good job. Invisa high five. 40, 45, 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left because I can think. And I have a sweat droplet that's about to fall into my eye. And it hasn't yet. Maybe it's because my eyebrows are up. I'll just keep them up. Three, two, one. Slowly dismount. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right. 
last thing I'll show you. Um, you could, if you have like a step, that's awesome. I'm just going to build something right here. I got my 10 kilo, my 5 kilo, and a 15 kilo bumper. Because we work kilos at FCF. And now we're going to stretch out our calf. So I'm going to get my feet on top. And I'm actually going to back off so that my only the balls of my feet are there. And then I want to think of like a calf raise. I'm going to try to drop down as much as I can. And this is a little uncomfortable here. So I'm going to actually just do one side at a time. But you can see what I'm doing here. Try to lock out that leg and then drive that heel down. The other leg, my left leg, is the support leg. So it bends and it's forward. You can't see my hands right now, but I'm holding on to my window. Then we're just going to breathe it out. 30 seconds or so. It doesn't need to be too long because I'd rather have you do this more often and more sets rather than just staying there for a minute or two. We might do that with bigger muscle groups. We don't necessarily do it here on the calf just because it's uncomfortable for a lot of people. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Get some blood back in there and both sides, and I'm going to simply switch sides. So uh, ball of the foot there, lock that left knee, and I'm driving it down as much as I can, feeling a stretch in that bulb, while the right leg has got a bunch of weight for counterbalance here. And we're going to hold this for 30 seconds or so. <sighs> really nice job today. I hope everybody's doing well uh, through all this stuff. It is the weekend, which generally doesn't mean anything to anybody other than those who are working right now, you get a little bit of a break. Again, join us tomorrow morning for yoga, 10 a.m. PST with Yvonne on Zoom exclusively. And then on Sunday, we're going to have hit class on Instagram Live at 10 a.m. And then at noon, Dave's cooking class. So come check us out there. And then otherwise, that was 30 seconds and I can barely walk. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.